Hey, what's going on? Chuck here again. And uh, today's a special video. I don't usually do videos on Saturdays, but uh, someone in the comment section of another video of mine left an interesting comment. So check this out. So analyst, thank you for posting this up. Um, but he said, I was denied a credit from Angie Leeds. Um, and what he's implying is that he bought a lead from Angie Leeds and uh, he was seeking credit back for it. He was seeking his money back because he felt like it wasn't a good lead or something like that. And he said that they responded that the customer hired another Angie contractor twice. I had the direct number of the actual customer. So he called the customer and he pretended to be Angie asking how the service went and that customer told him that they had never hired any contractor off of Angie. Um, and so he's saying that fully exposed and he brought to my attention a, a Federal Trades Commission FTC complaint from March 11th of this year uh, saying that they were being investigated, investigated by the government, <clears throat> which is something that I didn't know about. So I uh, did a little bit of Googling myself and I found the complaint and I thought I would read through it give you my commentary and I haven't read through this yet so this will be kind of like a you and I are both seeing this for the first time so let's take a look at that now I'll just make myself super small and here we go all right so the FTC charges home advisor Inc with cheating businesses including small businesses seeking leads for home improvement projects and then uh, uh, since 2014, Angie Affiliate has mis misrepresented the quality source of leads and likelihood they would result in actual jobs, uh, this the F FTC alleges. So HomeAdvisor is the old name of Angie Leads. Before they were called HomeAdvisor, they were, they were called Service Magic. And so they've changed their names a few times over the years. Angie Leads is the most recent one. Now Angie as a whole is a company that encompasses Angie Leads, which is Home Advisor, and Angie Ads, which is Angie's List. So these two companies that used to be separate, uh, they were purchased by the same company a few years back and then just about a year ago they were actually combined into one company. Even though you can still go on Google and still find Home Advisor and Angie's Leads showing up on the same page, they're both the same exact company. Let's continue here. The Federal Trade Commission today issued an administrative complaint against Denver-based HomeAdvisor Inc., a company affiliated with Angie, um, alleging it used a wide range of deceptive and misleading tactics in selling home improvement projects leads to service providers, including small business people operating in the gig economy. Okay, that's nothing new if you've watched any of my videos. The FTC's complaint against HomeAdvisor alleges that since at least the middle of 2014, it has made false, misleading, or unsubstantiated claims about the quality and source of the leads the company sells to service providers, such as general contractors, lawn care businesses, uh, who are in search of potential customers. Okay, I mean that sentence right there supports what like hundreds maybe even thousands of people at this point have called and told me personally not to mention my my own experience buying leads for my construction company for example home advisor told service providers that its leads resulted in actual home improvement job at jobs at rates higher than home Advi home advisor's own data supported so that would be the fraud part they're basically blowing smoke up your ass saying oh yeah these leads are really good even though their own data is saying that it isn't HomeAdvisor also misled service providers about the cost of an optional one-month subscription to a software platform that HomeAdvisor sold along with its leads. As a result of these misrepresentations, the complaint alleges service providers often spend time following up on leads that are below the quality HomeAdvisor promises, and even more time seeking refunds from the company for those leads. Now this is a situation I see play out, play out every day. Um, we've got dozens of clients across the country um, where we provide marketing services for and some of these companies still use HomeAdvisor or Angie Leads and those services. And um, when I ask them like, okay, how many leads does it take for you to get actually one good lead, one phone call? And the number I get most is one out of seven. So that means six of those leads were crappy. 
Many of the leads HomeAdvisor sells consist of information submitted by consumers on the company's website. It also resells leads, it buys from third parties known as affiliates who generate the leads in part from web-based forms that ask consumers about potential home projects they are considering. I did another video on this um, where I showed that if you went did a Google search for your service in your city, and you could probably still do this right now, there's this company called Powell and Sons that shows up on top of the screen uh, on the Google ads. And Powell and Sons voted best in blah, blah, blah city. And it makes it sound like they're a legit local company. And if you click on that and you fill out the form on there, they in turn sell that, sell your information on an online marketplace. And HomeAdvisor is one of the companies that buys that information and sells it to contractors as a lead. So uh, they're getting these leads from blogs, they're getting them from all over the internet. Anywhere that they can get someone's contact information, they're buying it and they're selling it to you. And they're selling it to multiple of you at the same time. Service providers who join Home Advisors Network pay an annual membership fee of $287.99 in addition to a separate fee for each lead they receive. As part of their Home Advisor membership package, many service providers have also paid in addition $60 for an optional one month subscription to a service called M Help Desk, which includes software that helps scheduling appointments, processing payments. This brings a total subscription fee to $347.98, with the M Help Desk program automatically renewing at $60 a month until it's canceled. According to the complaint, Home Advisor sales agents and marketing materials have misrepresented the, quali the quality, characteristics, and source of the leads the company provides. First, while Home Advisor states that its leads concern consumers who intend to hire a service provider soon, many of them do not. If you've used Home Advisor and gone through a good amount of leads, then you're fully aware that this is the case. A lot of people you talk to either were, were not intending to do a project or maybe they were just browsing around the internet and they stumbled across a form and they filled it out and now all of a sudden a bunch of people are calling them. It happens all the time, unfortunately. And that's why there's so many complaints against Home Advisor and Angie. In addition, while Home Advisor represents that, that service providers only will receive leads matching the types of services they provide and their preferred geographic area, many of them do not. Home Advisor also represents to service providers that its leads are from consumers who knowingly sought Home Advisor's assistance in selecting a service provider. While many of the leads it sells are actually purchased from affiliates and did not come from Home Advisor's website. Um, I have proven this myself um, in the video that I was just talking about a minute ago. Like you can go fill out a form on some other website and someone from Angie Leads or now Home Advisor, now called Angie Leads, is gonna be giving you a call. Um, let's see, what was the other point here? Home Advisor represents to service providers that its leads are from consumers who knowingly sought Home Advisor's assistance. So that's another thing. I mean, you can go test this yourself right now. If you look up remodeling, kitchen remodel near me, most likely you're gonna see Angie Leads and Home Advisor and all the, the same company showing up multiple times. If you click onto their website, you're gonna see a little form pop up and it's gonna ask you for your zip code. And you're thinking, oh, okay, that's cool. They're gonna show me contractors in my area. And then they ask you more questions and more questions and they're, they're basically turning you into a lead that you're gonna sell but it, it seems like you just have to go through this process to be able to browse contractors. That's kind of how they position it. At no time at all do they say, once you're done filling out this form, we're gonna sell your contact information to three different people and they're all gonna be calling you in the next five minutes. It doesn't say that anywhere. So it's very, very unclear and it's obvious that they're doing everything they can to get as much contact information as possible so that they can make as much money as possible. That's their entire business model. And you can go test this stuff yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. Uh, the complaint also alleges HomeAdvisor often tells service providers that its leads result in jobs at a rate much higher than it can substantiate. Uh, well, I mean, this is another obvious truth. If you've used HomeAdvisor, there's very few people, like if I talked, I get calls almost every day from people that are really upset with Angie. 
Um, but every once in a while I talk to someone who gets good results with it. And so it's like one out of 20 people actually gets good results uh, with this stuff. And so, you know, I don't know what the sales people are promising, but I know that the rates are pretty dang low. Finally, the complaint alleges that HomeAdvisor sales agents misrepresented the cost of the optional one month M Help Desk subscription by telling service providers that the first month is free with an annual membership package. In reality, the first month of the sub subscription is not free, resulting in a package that costs $60 more than properly informed service providers might have otherwise paid. Um, a quick note about their sales, their whole sales strategy. They call, like, they used to call me all the time, like almost daily. And they would say, hi, do you do remodels? Well, yes. Uh, do you have capacity to do more remodels? Well, yeah. Um, and then they just go into the spiel and they would pretend like they're a customer up just to get me to talk to them. And then they would try to sell me onto this lead service. And any company that can't just introduce themselves and what they're calling you about as soon as you pick up the phone is doing something a little shady. And the fact that I asked them to stop calling me every time and they kept on calling me for months and months, that just kind of shows you what's going on. I also um, asked some questions a few times and I found out that they actually outsource the sales part. So they have different companies that are doing the sales um, a lot of times. Um, at least that's what it seemed like to me when I was talking to these folks. The only way I was able to get them to stop calling me was every time they'd call, I'd just say, oh yeah, sure, hold on a minute. And I would set my phone down and then I'd go back to work. And that quickly got them to stop calling. Uh, let's see, the commission vote to issue the complaint was four to zero. So it was pretty much a unanimous vote that this complaint needed to happen. Let's see what does this note say. The commission issues an administrative complaint when it has reason to believe that the law has been or is being violated and it appears to the commission that a proceeding in, is in the public interest. The issuance of the administrative complaint marks the beginning of a proceeding in which the allegations will be tried in a formal hearing before the administrative law judge. So it looks like the federal government is taking HomeAdvisor to court. And maybe this has something to do with the reason they changed their name to Angie recently. Um, so there you have it, folks. Like, I've been doing these videos for about a year now. I've been writing articles about these guys for a long time. Um, originally, when I wrote the first article, I was just doing some research to find out if, if other people were having the same experience I was and it did not take me very long to find out that that was certainly the case in fact there was people having way worse experiences than i did and over the years you know eventually i started making videos about this and now i talk to so many people that have the same exact experience so i i don't really care you know i have nothing against angie or home advisor or whatever i would prefer if they would change their business model and actually provide value to people that would be fantastic i have no problem with them actually doing what they say they're gonna do. Um, but the fact is, they're really, they're ruining a lot of people, they're ruining a lot of businesses, they're calling people nonstop, they're making these lofty promises, and people are signing up and they're not really aware of what they're signing up for until their bank account has been drained and they don't know what to do. So I don't want that to happen to you, that's why I put these videos out, um, and that's why I started a company that creates marketing systems, that you own that will bring in customers without you having to buy leads from these shady companies. So if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.